Well, hello there. This is Shiva, and we're going to continue on with the pin builder, pin ball building system, or um, whatever they've decided to, uh, to call it. It's uh, basically a program, if you're new uh, to these videos, it's a program that allows you to make pinball machines, sort of like visual pinball, sort of like future pinball, uh, but a lot easier to use. And uh, you know those sneaky little dickens, the devs, they snuck an update on me today. I was supposed to, I was supposed to have a travel day. Uh, I did have a travel day, but, uh, and usually it's a trip from hell, uh, but today it wasn't too bad. So it didn't completely and totally wipe me out for two days like uh, the last trip did. So I'm back in a new location. Uh, I've got uh, all of my fancy gear here. I've got my ultra ride monitor. I've got my microphone. I have my gaming keyboard, my top of the line gaming keyboard. And I even have a decent set of headphones. I've got my audio technicas and my real comfy chair. And boy, oh boy, did I miss the comfy chair. Everything else I could live without. I need this chair. I, I need to buy another one of these things. So um, as you can tell, you can already see one of the updates. Um, and this is the ability to hide and to show any hidden table. So if there's a, a table on the list that you do not want to, uh, to see in, in the main UI, especially if you have like, uh, well, down the road, you could have like hundreds of these things. So you can always hide them now. And that's really nice. So what we'll do is we'll take this ride body that I did a long time ago and forgot to delete and we are just going to press hide and there it is it's hidden and if I want uh, to see it again at some point to show hidden tables and all of my hidden tables are in their own separate little UI here so I can just unhide it yes I want to unhide it click the button again oh there she is she's back anyway it's update time and uh, well Let's have a very, very uh, good look at uh, what's new here. I'm just calling up, the, uh, calling it up right now. And uh, this is the, the store page itself. As you can see, it just came out. Um, so let's have a quick look. Uh, there's a note about the arcade room lighting. Um, I uh, and, and that it may appear wonky after this update. Uh, but don't worry. All you need to do is readjust it. Fine. Okay. Uh, new features. Uh, there was a problem with some uh, people with the last update that had accidentally overwrote user files. Uh, that has now been pretty much fixed by the looks of it. Uh, the show hide option on the main menu, I just showed you that one. Uh, oh boy, yeah, okay. Non-adjustable uh, lighting effects have now been added after, I guess the devs saw what I was doing with the 8-ball. Uh, and doing my own uh, lighting effects, so they decided to add that in. Hey, you know, if it's an honor to be copied, right? You know, <laughs> whatever, Paul. Okay, uh, they added a user set when lit value to the top of the pumpers, which changes according to what is set in its attached logic controller. In other words, if you want, uh, before uh, the, uh, the middle portion was completely blank, but if you set your bumper to 100 points uh, when it is uh, as a score for when it is lit, it will actually draw the 100 right onto the bumper um, so, so that it actually shows. Uh, in other words, it will draw it right on, uh, on top of the bumper. And that is absolutely so cool. That is that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, what a great idea that was. Um, Added ball reset option in play mode for when the ball gets stuck. Pressing R will send it back to the shooter lane. Uh, another great idea. Another great feature. Uh, I, it always happens that my ball gets stuck just before I am about to set my all-time high score. My ball always seems to get stuck then. So, yeah, I, I like that one. Uh, added blank right body image. I guess it's to, to match the one that's in the other cabinet. And uh, connected kicker solenoid component to logic so it will kick only when lit. Similar to shield in firepower. Uh, yeah, that's actually kind of an important thing. Uh, I would say that some people may go, well, I don't like that. But you know what? It makes multiple an awful lot easier. Uh, so, yeah, I can see that. And, you know, if you uh, are from the VP and FP community, you know that you have to uh, uh, to code that uh, 
in any way. So not a big deal as far as I'm concerned. We'll have a look at that one later on. Uh, meanwhile, in gameplay improvements or general gameplay improvements, we built Fire Installer. It will now only copy standard game files if they do not exist. Okay, I don't really understand what that means, but all right. Uh, redesign play mode lighting to improve visual quality and performance. I really hope so. Uh, I was talking with the dev about uh, problems with frames per second that I was having. And apparently one of the big graphics features was turned on by accident. And I believe he said it was DAO. Um, so hopefully he's... Uh, um, turned it off and we'll be able to play this game uh, down the road in 4k so that's terrific uh, fixed blank play field texture roughness and normal uh, finished when lit logic code for scoring unlit lit values this was something uh, that was sort of only half done in uh, by the uh, previous update uh, it was not scoring lit values. It was not saving those values. So I think that's what it means. Uh, and that's great because that just gives you a, another tool in the toolbox uh, for when you do uh, the logic mode work. And finally set, what the heck is it? Oh, user audio file. Oh, okay. I, I understand what this is. Uh, I had actually um, uh, let them know that if you have a looping sound effect and you're in edit mode, and you press play it never stops and it just goes on and on and on and on and on it will never stop and then on top of that if you press any other sound it will play over top of that first sound and the only way to stop it from doing um doing that was to tab out and then tab back in and uh and and so obviously he's fixed that that is terrific because uh not really uh a bug that will really affect you it was just really annoying especially if you had two looping sounds going on at the same time it was just it was just yeah okay fix top rail color not working this is in bug fixes a uh, fixed miscellaneous issue with rails resolved last color not working properly on slingshots the top rail thing i had noted um that the actual posts themselves are changed color and you can't change them uh but the fourth one here is miscellaneous other fixes and i'm just going like hmm because i've had a couple real doozy bugs uh over the last little while and they've made the game almost virtually unplayable for me so we'll have a look at that but uh i have a feeling that uh my flipper problems may be gone now and that's great because i would really really like to be able to even play my game but i really kind of need to test uh, the eight ball game and the other thing is added block supports under playfield in workshop i guess that's just a visual thing um if it's pretty much uh like that okay so let's um hmm should we play a game let's play a game kaji battle yay oh okay now let's see how well, the lights, uh, the bulbs are certain. Oh, the bulb lights, I definitely a lot more sense, uh, a lot more sensitive. Uh, you can hold the, the button down a lot longer than you could before. How uh, about the other one? And it doesn't appear to be working at all. Okay, devs, uh, they may have changed the keys. I'm going to have to look at that. Let me try my gamer, uh, gaming laptop. Is this thing? nope nope i actually yeah okay i'm gonna have to uh, try it on the steam deck uh i've got it to sort of at least play a game uh the only problem is is i can't change the lighting effects in that either so we'll have to have a look at that okay how about we just uh go back to to mode and let's uh do eight ball now Oh dear, that does not look very good, does it? Okay, let's see if we... Yeah, we've definitely... Houston, we definitely have a problem with being able to change the, the actual overall lighting effects. I think you can actually hear my keys. And it's not changing anything. And uh, obviously, it's reset again, so that it's showing the back glass. I will... You know, this is actually the very first time I've even loaded in uh pin builder since the update so this is all brand new experience uh the frames per second seem to be a lot better 
And how about having a quick look at Star Destroyer and also playing uh, a bit of a game? Oh, he has not fixed that uh, that rail at the side there. Okay, whatever. We'll we'll fix that too as well while we're at it. Two minutes. I'm going to just close in very carefully here. I want to see something here. I'm still detecting the shaking on the on the right hand side. Look at the right. Look at the left flipper here. See how solid that is? And on the left one, it still seems to go up and down a little bit. But let's see how she plays before we, we start getting really upset about it. Yeah, uh, maybe the keys got, got changed uh, in my settings. I'll have a look at that later on. So let's just see how it looks. Oh yeah, a lot better. I can tell that almost immediately. Oh yeah, a lot better. A lot better. The right flipper uh, not had a, a slightly worse a stutter. In other words, what's happening is uh, as you can, the right flipper was going up a little bit past what your actual settings were and then dropping down. But the other thing it was doing was it was... Uh, shooting shots at about half the strength of the left flipper so uh it looks as if he's fixed that uh the little stutter i can handle uh I, all i want to do is be able to test my game uh to be honest i haven't really been able to uh play this program since i got it because uh, of the problems with that flipper so i'm so happy he's he's fixed it that's that is just absolutely terrific news and i am going to see if I can't get rid of that bloody thing in here uh, because I really hate that placement score panel uh, I'm going to remove that I don't have haptic feedback like every other pinball guy on Windows we use a mouse and keyboard uh, yeah I don't know why I'm doing this because to be honest I don't think it actually saves I'm also going to change it uh, to workshop and uh, the devs have said that uh, you know that you don't actually have to press this. I, I saw the video that they did a couple of days ago, so that's fine. Um, and as to just have a quick look at uh, see where the see where the arrow keys are. Oh, it's not, I don't think it's actually listed in this. Arc. I guess I'm going to have to look at the manual. Boy, oh boy, how dare it! Uh, how dare the developers make us look at manuals just just to f uh, find out information? I mean, how dare they? Wow. Uh, okay, I'll have to uh, have, a, have a real good look at that uh, later on. Uh, this is basically, uh, I'm doing this video on the seat of my pants. Uh, April. Okay, what, uh, what happened was when I did uh, the last video on April, which was episode episode 7 and if we see any uh, new features I'll note them um, but uh, in the last video I had meant uh, one of uh, the VP uh, and FP guys noticed that there was a problem with the code uh, with this and uh, so I had a very quick look um, and I think I believe I know exactly what the problem was uh, the code wasn't actually working the way it was supposed to and I believe I know why so I am just going to, if you noticed, I've changed my color to a solid black. And yeah, that's about as, as clear as I'm going to be able to make it. And I believe the code problem has a lot to do with this. It should be working. Yeah, I'm, I'm still having some problems selecting things, but it's not as bad as it was before. Or oh, it's just that maybe I just got bad hands, but instance, the sort of thing, uh, before the update, there was uh, a four box and it was completely blank. So maybe this is something that the dev uh, saw. I only really mentioned this uh, yesterday. So maybe the dev saw this and had a quick look at it because now it's only just showing the three. Okay, uh, but before, April only has three multipliers. So it was one, two, three. Uh, and I had it set to two times, three times, and four times. And but I also had a little uh, four box right here too as well. And what was happening was it was uh, 
going down all of the triggers, it was scoring two times. The second time it was doing three. The third time it was doing four. But it did it a fourth time and it didn't do anything. And uh, then it, uh, when it happened the fifth time, it wasn't triggering anything. It wasn't triggering the specials. Uh, you could hear the special sound that I put in uh, for it, but it just wasn't doing it. Uh, it wasn't lighting. Um, on top of that, the multipliers, uh, I realized, were actually resetting after a while. So we had to start all over again, which is not good. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to have a very, very, very quick look at this. Okay, let's put this in the camera view that people can actually see. Let's start a game. And we're going to do some ball spawning with the B button. If you look just above the left slingshot, I'm going to just create a ball. So, okay, that's the second time. Let's do the third time. It should be four times, right? So that's good. So here we go. Let's see what happens now. Okay, it is, in fact, done the special, but I don't believe it's lit those lights yet. Okay, so it must be something that I missed somewhere. Um, so we'll, we'll worry about that one later. Uh, is there any other thing uh, here that... Uh, that we can talk about before I close the video. I'm really, really, really tempted to see if that other bug is actually working. I do not want to end the video with a game uh, by showing a game breaking bug. I have a feeling that he has fixed it though, um, because that's actually pretty bad. Um, it was just one of those things. The one thing that I'm really happy about, though, is the fact that he has, in fact, finished uh, the light state code and have added it in. So we're going to have a lot of fun playing with that one in the next few months. Uh, nope, don't see anything really all, all that, um, anything really uh, else. And, of course, this cabinet mode. Oh, yeah, um, if you notice... Yeah, let's change my apron texture while I'm at it. You see how it looks with the proper uh, lighting effects now? Yeah, I have light and dark versions of my apron texture. So, uh, you know, so sue me, right? Come on, what's the matter with you? You're not playing. That's because I haven't clicked on the play field. There we go. Yeah, that thing's still there. Come on. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, okay, let's put her up. Uh, let's just uh, have a quick look at this. Oh, yeah, my arrow keys are now going in, in the proper direction. That's nice. Oh, wow, it kind of looks a lot like mine. You know, I didn't pay attention to what it looked like with uh, this new feature on top of my new feature. I bet you it would kind of, might even, it, it might look pretty cool. Let's look. Why not? I mean, it's, it's not as if we have uh, any time to, uh, you know, we've got time to kill. So let's do it. Okay. Oh, I did put it on light, didn't I? Okay. I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to save it. Ah! Ah! My goodness. My goodness. Oh, there it is. That's the way it looks. I thought I was wondering why it looks uh, so damn good. Yeah, too bright. Yeah, it, uh, the, the uh, well, to my eye. Okay, I'm going to load mine back in. <laughs> it still looks better. I'm sorry, you know, but the combination of the two just, you know, I just thought it just looks so much better. Okay, where are we at here? Really, Paul? Oh well, it's it's. I am I am actually quite tired, so I mean I'm allowed to make mistakes. Okay, let's try this again. You got to click the play field every time you use that uh, the cabinet mode or edit mode or anything, so that you get your menu back. Yes, uh, it's still a little bit of a, a focus problem. 
Let's see what it has. You know, I could actually have a lot of fun with that, couldn't I? If I just adjusted the lighting effects just a little bit so that it sort of matched that, then it would really, really look pretty good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'll probably do that. I know, I know, it's completely black because, as I mentioned before, I have it set to black so that I could see the logic, okay? Uh, if you're really that fussy or you get that, uh, that anal, all you have to do is just change this, right? And you can put it back to the color that you want, which is there. And then you just hit tab, and now you can see the entire table. And it's still not doing it because I forgot to save the bloody thing again. Geez, you have to save it. I keep forgetting to do that. And uh, you know what? I bet you every single VP and FP guy is going to be doing that about uh, 50 times a week. Control S. Cabinet. Yeah, she's, she's the right one I want. Control S. Yep, it's all done. Uh, let's put the light Let's put the proper one back in. Control S. There we go. Let's hit tab. Uh, Got to click the play field. Hit tab. There you go. And what do we have? Wow, that's bright, isn't it? So let's adjust that. I don't think I can adjust the actual play field yet. Nope, doesn't look, hang on, is it getting a little brighter? It might be that it's very, very slow, that you may have to hold the thing uh, for considerably longer than you did before. Um, I don't know if it's changing or not. You know what, that's actually pretty good. So anyway, this is what 8 ball looks like. Um, I, I may boost up the lighting effects a little bit, uh, especially around uh, the right triangles and the center logo because I, I kind of like that a little bit more highlighted but as you can see um, you know you know what it actually doesn't look too bad with the extra uh, with that new feature uh, it kind of does look a little bit better uh, as to the rest of it it appears my anti-alias is on or something is on here uh, but in the meanwhile I am going to just fiddle with this for a while and just see what kind of uh, other features this has. Can you switch that down anymore? No, you cannot. How about the shader quality, the texture quality? I can actually get away with very high or even ultra. Yeah, I'm not really making this part of the 8 ball series. Um, I've just said, you know, obviously I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm just, you know, just doing random things and it has not saved my values. As I said before, this is my very first look. This is my very first load uh, of the program since the update. So, yeah, we're going to expect some things here until I learn how to do them properly. Uh, I'll look at the new manual. Uh, the devs actually haven't uh, told anybody in the forms uh, anything about this. So, or if there's any kind of changes. Yes, he has fixed the posts at the top. Uh, my frame rate is... Uh, maybe five six frames per second faster um not too bad not too bad uh if the uh, picture looks quality uh looks a little fuzzy it is because it is well it shouldn't look fuzzy to you but it does a, a bit on mine because i have to uh retune this uh ultra right a little bit uh, I, I think it, uh, some of its colors have gotten a little bit weird on me so i'm going to just do it uh, there's also some seems to be some sort of uh, flickering going on in 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 the bumpers. You guys see that? Yeah. Okay. Let's start again. I had it in the cold to um, like the bumpers and a couple of other buttons. I'm just going to have a quick look at this. I don't remember. Wow, that is one powerful sucker of a light bulb by the bumper there, isn't it? Well, I may have to remove that. Anyway, I guess I better uh, just sign off before I make a complete idiot out of myself. Uh, but in the meanwhile, I hope you've had a, 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 a great day. I hope you people in the East are making it through what apparently is a pretty bad 
uh, heat wave that's going on there. Uh, I hope you're safe and sound. Uh, as for me, well, you know what? Uh, it's it's going to be an experience doing videos from this location as opposed to the other one. You're just going to have to bear with it. There's nothing I can do about it. If you uh, get really upset and you want me to have like top of the line equipment and sound isolation uh, in my room and a brand new microphone and everything else, I'll be more than happy to send you my address so you can send me this check. But because that's literally what uh what it's going to be um i've spent enough money on this uh just on doing these videos i'm getting like pathetic view numbers because i haven't actually been telling too many people that i've been doing these videos uh that's going to be changing very very soon uh in fact i'm considering uh putting links to my videos now at pn and we have just gone over 25,000 members uh, we probably get anywhere from 750 to a thousand people um, sometimes on a daily basis so uh, yeah there's going to be a lot more activity in the YouTube videos uh, I'm trying to maintain at least some sort of professionalism but uh, you know I really just don't take this seriously anymore it's a hobby it's really what it is and I've been basically looking as, at pinball as well just a hobby just something to have some fun with this is a very fun program um so i'm really really in, enjoying it <coughs> excuse me i'm gonna have to have some coffee here uh but i have uh really really been enjoying it it's um there's no pressure it's pretty easy to use you really the expectations uh when you see this, uh, you know, it's, it's basically a very advanced version of the pinball construction set. As far as I'm concerned, that's great. Um, you know, visual pinball and FP, very, very few people can actually make a pinball table in it. As I said, as I said in, at PN, this is really a pinball builder for the masses. Um, it's making very, very good progress. There's going to be some shaky things, and it doesn't help that uh, I'm... Uh, I haven't even looked at the program before I did this video and of course my talent for uh, having bugs just suddenly show up uh, on my computer that nobody else uh, has for a while. Well, you know, my track record is usually 100% on that one. So, but in the meanwhile, you have a great day and I'm going to be playing around with this. I'm going to see if I can get those special lights to work. Uh, but in the meanwhile, I'm going to sign off. This is Shiva and happy pinball oh i just noticed something here oh now isn't that cool oh i'll i I'm, i'll be sure to tell you uh uh next video ah uh, yeah sure why not uh, let's be hostile about that shall we yeah 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 let's be hostile see ya